I looked through your Twitter account just before we um, had this interview, and you, you don't use it a lot, but there was one tweet that you wrote, and it, it made me sad, and you just wrote, I think you wrote something like, poker makes me sad. I, had, I only have that Twitter account for two years, so oh, right, right. can I really be true? But uh, I remember, like, I like to be honest about it always. Like, we have those people that are like, you know, it's just a tournament, you gotta be rational, it's like the next one is coming and it's lots of variants. And this is just like, I mean, either you are that way, which is good on the one hand, but bad on the other, because I experienced that myself, that you put that into other parts of your life that you get like a little emotionally cold, I would say. Um, and I don't wanna have that too much. Like, it's fine. Like, if I play a cash game and lose a pot, I'm definitely fine. Mm. Like, I remember last year, um, WSOP, I played for two weeks straight and didn't have a single cash. I pretty much bubbled the main event. I pretty much, oh, well, I bubbled a 25k aria. I had a big flip for a big stack in the million one drop and didn't get anything going in the other events. Like, this is just, it was a stretch of 10 tournaments, which is nothing. Right? Yeah. But still, it was like, okay, I flew there. I was just like non successful, uh, lost lots of money. And for me, it's fine to let the world know that this is kind of makes me sad and I'm pissed right now. And I don't want to see those cards for three weeks straight. Yeah. Right? So, this is, I guess, that's okay to tell, to tell the people, you know? Um, it's just like that. It's, it's okay. Like, the, I invest that much that I'm fine with it. It's not about the money, but the emotions are there. Mm. Right? So, the. Like it's, it's fine after the first week. And uh, it's like just the risk of then playing again and losing again because then it comes back. Uh, so I took like three weeks off and uh, I, yeah, I, I tried to do that every now and then and that feels great and then you're thrilled about it again. And I came here, I didn't play a live event since PCA mm. and I was like, let's go, it's a great event. Mm. It's a great place. I was lucky uh, or happy to see so many faces, uh, like friendly faces, everyone is having a good time and uh, yeah. Seems like you need to take the Fedor approach of um, just playing, or Linus, when I interviewed Linus, uh, I only interviewed him for three minutes, but here's this 24 year old and he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna play when I wanna play, not when I need to play. Yeah. Uh, and that sounds like this, that, that would work for you maybe. Yeah, I mean, um, that's like, kind of does for the emotions, but then you have the trouble that it's tough to stay on top because you need to invest so much time to be in yeah, this, so Linus, because of where you're playing. Linus had food. that thrill in himself that he told himself, let's say 2013 or 15, I don't even know, like, I want to be the best of the world. Mm. And that kept him going. I, I don't know him too well, that's just like my, what I've seen or heard from him, yeah. uh, or like from people that surround him a little. Uh, and that's like, that's what he did. He was there on his computer pretty much 24 seven, whenever he was not sleeping. Mm. This is what I think, like, yeah. I, I don't know, but uh, I've seen him in the lobbies, I've seen him, not, not seen him, but heard him studying solvers and everything. And now he is there and well, he has the financial freedom, I guess now, uh, to do whatever he wants. And now, yeah, I mean, I'm cherry picking a little, like I'm looking forward so much to that summer because it will only be two weeks of WSOP for me. Uh, we talked it through yesterday with lots of the players, like no super high roller bowl. That means for lots of those players, there's no like, no, I mean, it sounds stupid. It's like, it's, no need it's, to hang around. It's, it's great to have that event going and mm. to play there, but still you feel like you would miss out on something. This is why you have to go there. So, and this feeling is away now because it's in December. And so I can just go there in July for the main event, the 10K six max and the 100K and maybe some ARIA stuff. And this is like, what I will be looking forward to. I, I will be th in mid of June. I will be thrilled about going to Vegas. Now reading from some of my friends will win something. And some of people, uh, some of the people I am not friends with will win something. And then I'm like, I gotta be there. You know, like this yeah, thrill yeah, comes yeah. back. And, uh, but only two weeks and then it's good again. Back to vacation, summer in Europe. 